guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. My name is Sarah. If you are looking for home style recipes made ketogenic, then you've come to the right channel. And tonight we are going to be making fruit salad. It is going to be a triple berry fruit salad, and of course it will be keto. So come along with me and let's get started. What's so great about this recipe? Why did you to make it? Blah, 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 blah. So what is so great about this recipe? CJ asked me and I told him that number one it's cool because it's 85 degrees here which I'm sure is very cool to all of you people living in the south. However it is very hot for the Pacific Northwest. So number one it is cool. You can use it as a dessert. You could also take it to a barbecue or potluck. There's graduations, there's weddings, baby showers, all kinds of events that you might need to take a dish. And this would be something that you could take and you could also eat yourself because it is low carb and you know what's in it. So those are some of the reasons that you might enjoy it. And you might also just be missing fruit salad, going to the deli and saying, hey, can I have some of that ambrosia stuff? And now you know how to make it. So let's talk about what you're going to need for this recipe. So you're going to need 16 ounces of very soft cream cheese in a large bowl. Because this is a triple berry salad, we are going to be using three different types of berries. I have about 12 ounces of strawberries, and I have cut my strawberries up a little bit. I have 12 ounces of blackberries, and I have six ounces of raspberries. And you can use any um, various kinds of berries that you want. I'm using the lowest carb berries. These are low carb berries. If you wanted to use blueberries, you could use those. They are a little higher in carbs, but it would also work here. You're going to need one cup of powdered confectioner's sweetener. I'm using Swerve here, but you can use any kind of powdered natural sweetener that you like. You're also going to need heavy whipping cream and some vanilla extract. I am also going to be using as an optional step mini marshmallows from Chalk Zero. These are a fairly new product but we have them and I think that they go very well in fruit salad. So I'm going to be folding in a few for ours, but of course this is completely optional. It would be delicious without them as well. If you are interested in using the Chalk Zero Mini Marshmallows, we always have a discount code linked in our video description box that will get you a discount for their products. So we are going to be doing all of this in a large bowl and I'm going to start by beating my very softened cream cheese. Okay, so we have two bricks, eight ounces each for a total of 16 ounces, and I'm just going to go ahead and mix that up a bit. And mine is very soft because I have let it sit out all day and I definitely recommend that. Okay, so to our softened cream cheese, the first thing I'm going to add is our sweetener. So you're going to want one cup of confectioner's sweetener. I'm also going to add my vanilla now, a couple of squirts, about a teaspoon or so. I'm just going to mix that all together. We have mixed our sweetener into our cream cheese and now I'm going to put in the heavy cream and we want to start with one cup. If you find that when you fold your berries in that it's a little too thick you can always add a little bit more heavy cream to thin it out but I'm going to start with one cup. So our fruit salad dressing is all mixed up. Now I'm just going to fold our berries into our fruit salad dressing. So I'm going to start with the blackberries, and once again, this is 12 ounces. We also have our 12 ounces of strawberries. <clears throat> and our 
six ounces of raspberries. I'm just going to go ahead and start folding that in. We're just trying to coat our berries without mushing them up too much. We want to keep the integrity of our berries if we can. We just want to thoroughly mix them. They're quite good. I'm going to simply do likewise with my miniature marshmallows. If you wanted to put something else in here like chopped pecans or something like that, that would also be very good and very traditional for fruit salad also. I'm just going to put these in. And I'm just going to fold them into the rest of the fruit salad. Okay, so that is all there is to it. And then I am just going to put this in the refrigerator and let it chill for a few hours and let all of our berries kind of flavor up our fruit salad dressing. And then I will come back and we will have CJ do a taste. Okay, there it is. Our delicious triple berry ambrosia fruit salad. Hi. Hi. Wow, this looks really good. Thank you. I used to, I used to like ambrosia salad. Let's see how this tastes. Okay. It better be good. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's good. The marshmallows were a nice touch. I know they're optional, but they were a nice touch. This is all low carb fruit. So, I mean, it's a little different than what you would get in the store because they don't use low-carb fruit. No, usually it's like bananas and pineapple yeah. and cherries and stuff. But this is nice and cool and refreshing for dessert. And it's easy to make, and I think people will like it. So thanks for doing it, baby. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.